WTFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman. This is the Tiger Technicians. Uh, whoops, this is the, the 4 o'clock closing bell uh, at TFNN. And we're looking at the weekly close says that we have closed at 32,404, up 403 points in the Dow. It made that fourth highest peak to peak D at 33,071, pulls back, <clears throat> holds both the 14 and the 9 period moving averages, and closes above this orange line right here, the 200 period moving average. So far, that's very good action. The weekly chart says... This is the resistance that's got to get out called the Jab Wave Inside Track Repellent Zone. It's got to move nicely into the 33,700, 600, 700 area to say, I'm done with that for now. I'm moving high. The S&P, uh-uh, not the same thing. It did do okay in the end today. It closed up 50 at 3770. Uh, we're looking at its full the gap. It's closed uh, underneath the 14-period moving average. S&P needs to get you at least 38.22 by Monday or Tuesday of next week. If I can do that, that's a really good sign. You don't want to see 36.92 uh, taken out. The QQQ <clears throat> be lagging, lagging again today. It is up four and a half at 260, almost 265. It needs a lot of work to even touch the move. Nine and 14 period moving averages of 270 and 271. Definitely mustn't take out 258 support next week because that's going to be real. That'll say it's going to probably test the left side low of 254. We're looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000. And this is very interesting because in the chart patterns, it's held a lot better than the QQQ, <clears throat> the index 100. But it needs more. The small caps need a lot more. At 178.85, you want to see this get back to the 180.83 level and quite quickly definitely must hold 172. Gold had a spectacular, absolutely spectacular move today. You can't dismiss it, but it does that. Look at the green bars, even the weekly chart here in the middle. You'll see it pops up big green, and then it gives it back. We'll see if it's going to do that. Why? Because the dollar closed down 2.16 at 110.83. It's still in the range, but it's starting to make lower lows and lower highs. We're watching that real closely because that could help. Uh, gold, it could help a, a number of areas, certainly the multinationals. Looking at the VIX index, VIX, there we go. The VIX index closed down sharply at 2461. And that says money is starting to come out of the, uh, the, the insurance policy of being in the volatile uh, volatility index. And that maybe is a good thing. So we're going to watch next week very close to the uh, bonds. We're lower again and yields are higher. Have a wonderful weekend. Tom O'Brien will be back on Monday and we'll see you next week.